Hello Brown Hill students, this today is a HIT session for your PE lesson. So you all should know we've done it in PE. HIT stands for High Intensity Interval Training. So you need a small space, um, water for your hydration, and I'm going to go through some of the exercises uh, to demonstrate just to make sure you can remember what they all are. They should be familiar with you. If they are not, then watch carefully and I'll show you how to do them. So I am outside, it's a nice day. Um, outdoor exercise is something that is really, really good for you, breathing in the fresh air. So we're going to do a set of 10 exercises with 30 seconds exercising and 15 seconds rest. Then we're gonna repeat the same exercise. So each exercise will be done twice and we have 10 of them, so it's 20 rounds. So it will not quite be 20 minutes but the, the idea is that your heart rate is raised quickly and it's a short, sharp workout. So I'm going to go through the exercises now. So we're starting with jumping jacks. So a quick demonstration of jumping jacks. Here we go. And if you wish, if that's too difficult, first thing in the morning if you're doing this, then we can step out each side and that's an easier option for you. Okay, our second, I'm just going to get my piece of paper in front of me. Okay, our second exercise is gonna be squats. So nice wide stance, feet parallel, and we're gonna sit down and stand up. Sit down and stand up. Okay, if you wish to make this harder, we can make a jump in between, and even harder, a jump and a twist, or we can jump, touch, making sure we keep our heads up. So I'm looking at the screen, keeping my head up, and my back nice and straight. Our third exercise is going to be knee push-ups. So we've got three options on push-ups. We're going to stick with the second one. If you need to do the first one, which we've done in PE lessons, it's not my favourite, it is bending the arms, but a proper knee push-up should look like this with our body nice and straight. And it's an exercise for our triceps. Okay, after that, we then have standing leg raises so this is good for your core we need to pull our tummy in to balance so we're going to raise our leg and our arm to each side and keep alternating for the 30 seconds trying not to wobble okay our fifth exercise is going to be a an inchworm so standing nice and tall we're going to reach to crouch touch the floor walk out to a plank, walk back in and stand up again. I'm going to turn around to show you that. So from this position, down to the floor, out to plank, up again. If you wish to make that harder, you can have your arms down, out to plank, legs in and out, up we go, and a jump. Okay, our next exercise is going to be an exercise on the floor. So I've got my mat out here. It's just an old camping mat that I found in the garage. If you're inside, hopefully you've got carpet so you don't need anything. So that is gonna be our bicycle crunches. So from this position here, arms behind our head, lift our head up and slowly reach our knees towards our elbow, pulling in on our abdominal muscles, our tummy muscles. Number Eight is going to be a squat reach, which I demonstrated just so. It's getting our heart rate up a little bit. So let's reach to the floor, squat. Squat touch. If you can't do that and you struggle, then we'll just do a jump. And that's good enough. Try and keep going for the whole 30 seconds. Our next activity is going to be mountain climbers. We've done this in PE lessons, or certainly in my PE lessons. So we start on the floor in our plank position, our upright plank, reaching our knees into our elbows and switching. So nice and quickly, if that's too difficult, just step in and out, in and out, a bit more slowly, pulling in on your tummy muscles to make sure you keep your body in line. Okay, our next exercise is gonna be single leg V-ups. So back to the floor, lying down in a prone position, opposites, so right leg, left arm up, left leg, right arm up. Making sure we're breathing nice and regularly. 
throughout our 30 seconds and we use our 15 seconds after that to rest, breathe in through our noses, out through our mouths to get ready for the next exercise. Our last exercise is gonna be lunges. So we've got options here. We've got our option here to lunge, hands on hips, not on legs. We don't use our arms to push on our legs to get up like that. Halfway through, we will switch. So making sure that our front leg doesn't go beyond 90 degrees and our back leg goes nice and low to the floor. If that is easy, then to make our heart rate go up even more, we can step forward and lunge and alternate. Or if we're feeling super fit already, this, this exercise session, we can jump and split our lunges. They are our 10 exercises, okay? So you can continue if you know the exercises we're doing in your own time, or you can continue doing the workout here with me and I'll go through the exercises. I've got a timer on my iPad, which you could use a timer on your phone or anything. You've got an iPad, a tablet with you for your 30 seconds work and 15 seconds rest. So I'm getting a bit warm now. So what we're going to do is we're going to do our warm up slightly different exercises for our warm-up so I'm just going to give you a couple of minutes while I'm talking to get your space get your drink mine's just here make sure you stay hydrated and we're ready to go so the first exercise I will tell you what the next exercise is during your rest so we're going to start with our jumping jacks so I'm going to put my timer on so I can see it and we're ready to go. So, here we go, jumpy jacks, 30 seconds. I'm gonna move back a bit so I can see my timer. Not really good to do half on a mat and half off. I only need a mat because I'm outside on the concrete. So we're about halfway. So if we are stepping, make sure it's an energetic step. So, three, two, one, see if you can stay moving. I've got a bell on there, it's gonna tell me now so I don't need to look. So our next exercise is gonna be squats. We can do a squat touch if we wish, and a squat jump if we wish. I'm just gonna do three, two, one. Nice, easy, deep squat. If any of these you're familiar with and you want to do the harder exercise, then go ahead, you know what they are. However, if these are a little bit difficult, nice and slow, but let's make sure we can keep going until the end of the 30 seconds. Okay, so we're gonna go through these exercises to the end and then repeat once more. If you wish by then, there we go, that's a rest time. If you wish by then to take the harder exercise or the harder option for each exercise, then please do. Your heart rate, should be nice and high right now. So three, two, one, and we're on our knee push-ups. So, nose nearly to the floor. Exercise for our triceps. If any of you who like it, the hardest option obviously is a full press-up, keeping our body nice and straight. If that's not for you, then this is the one. Let's really make sure we keep going. Okay, that's our rest. So our next one is our standing leg raise. We're gonna do two each side to make sure we use our core to keep nice and balanced. So three, two, one. Out we go, one, two, three, four, and back again, one, Two, if you're wobbling a bit, just take a breather in the middle and compose yourself and go again. Let's make sure that we continue for our 30 seconds. Not so long really. There we go, that's the end of that one. So our next one is going to be our inchworms where we're just going to walk forward 
you still don't need much space to do this so just a sort of a, a body length square on your carpet or in your garden somewhere okay so down we go walk out nice plank keeping your tummy nice and tight walk in if you want to make it harder get to your plank back in jump walking out walking in and a jump if you want walking out walking in and a jump if this is too hard then merely walking out if you can and hold that's our rest okay so now this one is down to the floor and it's our bicycle crunches so in our ready position hands up here we go knee to elbow try not to put your feet back down on the floor if you can try and keep your feet up that makes your tummy muscles work a little bit harder so let's get our knee to elbow each side you should feel your tummy muscles having to work here reaching up and extending our legs out nice and controlled there's our bell back up we go this one's going to be our squat reach so if the first squat you did was here let's see if we can do our squat reach it needs to be just standing that's fine or ready on the bell touch reach the floor keeping our head up here we go make sure we're sitting down as far as we can keeping our heads up if that's too difficult then let's just try a squat and a touch nice and easy there we go that's our bell okay three more to go we've got mountain climbers next so we're going to get ready in our upright plank support position three two one and knees in as far to our elbows as we can if we can speed up there we go If that's a little bit too much, we can slow down and just one at a time, fairly slowly, using our tummy muscles to keep in that nice straight position. Okay, our next one is single leg V-ups. So it's a bit on the tummy a little bit again. So we're gonna lie down. And opposites again. So we're gonna have Opposite arm to opposite leg. Up, down, up, back down. Keep that leg nice and straight. Pull in on those tummy muscles. Some of you might find this difficult. If you do, let's just keep going as best we can. Here we go. Three, two, and one. Okay, next we've got our lunges. So we've got options on our lunges, like I said before. We can do this, lunging on one leg to halfway and switch over. Or we can do, off we go, that's the buzzer. Our bell for our lunges, keeping body upright. No hands on knees. Use your quadriceps, these muscles in your thighs, to push up. Or the harder version, if we wish, is the lunge and the jump. One of the most highly calorie burning exercises there is. Okay, just gonna pause for a second. That's our 10 exercises done, our first round. So, have a little breather, get some water, and then we're gonna go again. So, if you wanted to plan your own Tabata session with a 30 second exercise, a 15 second rest, or if you think you need more rest, you can increase it, 
or if you think this isn't hard enough for you you can obviously increase the amount of time you're exercising so you could do 40 seconds exercise and 20 seconds rest dependent on how you're feeling if you wanted to do this again to see if your fitness has improved then you could reduce the rest just to 10 seconds and see how you get on but obviously the more time you spend doing this the better you'll get and the fitter you'll get and you'll get to know what your body is and isn't capable of so we're going to go through those again any of them you found difficult you choose the easy option any that were too easy then move to the harder option but always make sure you've got good technique if that's the one you're going to be doing so here we go off pause back on in 10 seconds with our jumping jacks so on the bell i'm going to show you a harder version of simply this one okay three two one so this would be our more advanced version for 30 seconds and my heart rate should be going up and up and up right now here we go there's the bell so next is our squats so I'm gonna get my breath back breathe in and out Ready for my squats. So, three, two, one. Here we go. They're nice and deep. Another variation of our squats, which is harder, would be this squat and a knee kick. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, that's our bell. So, we're gonna to go to our knee push-ups again. So down to the floor, tummy's in tight, and ready to go. Three, two, one, go. Obviously, if you are doing this and you've written down what you're doing, you don't need to be listening to me. You could put some of your favorite music on to keep you company while you're doing your exercise. Three, two, and one. Well done. Okay, we're getting there. Keep it going if you can. So this one is gonna be our standing leg raise. So let's keep nice and balanced. Pull our tummies in. Here we go. Three, two, one. So nice and controlled. Get our breath back if we need to. Using our adductor and abductor muscles in our legs. All the names of muscles, keywords, which we need to be familiar with. And if any of you have anyone, there we go, that's our buzzer. Anyone else who'd like to join in, then obviously it's not just for you as students, it's for your families and friends when you can share it with them. But if you're in your household and people are twiddling their thumbs, then join them in. So we've got our inchworms from here, walking out. And in and jump if you want. There we go. Keep it going. If it's only to here and up, then that's fine. If you can stretch yourself and keep nice and still, then brilliant. Okay, bicycle crunches next. So down to the floor. Okay. Body nice and long, ready to go. Three, two, one. So. Elbow to knee, try not to put your feet on the floor. Reaching with those elbows, 
across your body. That's it. If we can't do that, keep our knees there on the floor and let's just see if we can reach our head up a little bit. And each time we do it, let's hope we can get a little bit further. Okay, squat reach is next. Our squat touch. So our squat position, keeping our heads up, seated position when we sit down to so a squat, exercising our quadriceps here. So touch, touch. There are four muscles in the top of our thighs at the front. That's why they're called quadriceps, because quad means four. Triceps, three of those in the back of the arm. Biceps, two of those in this bit of the arm. Keep it going. That's good. Well done. So our next one is going to be our mountain climbers. So again, our front support position. Ready? Holding our tummies in, body nice and straight. We can, if we wish, vary it. So we're doing opposites again, a bit faster, or straight up to our same side elbow. Here we go. Keep it going. Keep that breathing going. Nearly there. Three seconds to go. Keep going to the end. Okay, number nine for the second time is our single leg V-ups. So, on the floor again, nicely stretched out. Opposites again, we can go here, or we can reach with our head going down to the ground in between each leg raise. Let's see if we can get those legs up far as we can. If we're struggling, again, then we can keep our legs there, arms up, like that. But let's try and get our legs in. Okay, that's the bell. So our last exercise now to complete our workout is going to be our lunges. So remember what I said, we can do lunges here and switch, or we can step forward, making sure we keep our bodies nice and upright and our knees, front knee, no more than 90 degrees. Bit of maths in there for you. And back knee as near to the floor as we can. So we've got good technique. And if we wish, we can do those jump lunges and stay nice and balanced and that's the bell so give yourselves a clap well done everybody your heart rate should be up by now so get your water if you've got some and i want you to just take a deep breath in and out and again in and out have a little drink so like I said before, if you want to plan your own Tabata session, your fitness session, your high intensity interval session, then you know a lot of exercises you can put in. All you need is your time, your interval to work, your interval to rest, your exercises, up to you whether you do 10 in a row and repeat, or you could do one exercise, repeat it two, three, four, or even five times, it's up to you. Get used to what your body can do and try a little bit different every day. So, well done to everybody. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. And if anyone's got any requests, then feel free to let us know. So, signing out for today. Well done, everyone. Hopefully see you soon.